Madeline Kahn was a comedic genius whose talent was matched only by her tragic personal struggles. As one of the most beloved actresses of the 20th century, Kahn dazzled audiences with her razor-sharp wit, impeccable timing, and unforgettable characters. From her breakout performances in What's Up Doc to her scene still in roles in Blazing Saddles and Young Frankenstein, Khan captured the hearts of moviegoers and cemented her place in Hollywood history. Madeline Kahn was born in Boston, Massachusetts on September 29, 1942 to Bernard Wolfson and Freda Nee Goldberg. Her father worked as a garment manufacturer, but unfortunately, her parents divorced when she was just two years old. As a result, Madeline and her mother moved to New York where she attended the Manumet Boarding School in Bristol, Pennsylvania. While in boarding school, Madeline's mother developed an interest in acting, which would ultimately influence her daughter's career path. Madeline also became interested in performing and appeared in productions put on by the school. In 1953, Madeline's mother married Hiller Kahn, who adopted Madeline and gave her the surname she would become known by. Her new family supported her love of the arts, and she continued to hone her skills throughout her teenage years. Madeline Kahn attended Martin Van Buren High School in New York and graduated in 1960. Her natural talent for acting earned her a drama scholarship to Hofstra University, where she studied music, speech therapy, and drama at Long Island University. In 1964, Madeline graduated with a degree and continued to hone her skills by studying music and training her voice. During her time at university, she worked as a singing waitress in a German-themed restaurant, which allowed her to showcase her talents to a wider audience. After graduation, Madeline pursued a career in acting and auditioned for various roles. However, the industry can be competitive, and Madeline needed to support herself financially while waiting for her big break. She worked as a public school teacher while continuing to audition for acting roles. Madeline Kahn's acting career began with a bang. Her debut performance was in the stage production of Kiss Me Kate, which was followed shortly by her film debut in the 1968 movie The Dove. In 1969, Madeline made her Broadway debut in Leonard Silman's New Faces of 1968, which further cemented her reputation as a rising star. Madeline's breakout role came up in the 1972 film What's Up, Doc?, where she acted alongside the legendary Barbara Streisand. This role was followed by another leading role in the 1973 black-and-white comedy drama Paper Moon, which was set during the Great Depression. Madeline's portrayal of the exotic dancer Trixie Delight earned her an Academy Award nomination and established her as a force to be reckoned with in Hollywood. Madeline's success continued on Broadway, where she starred in the 1978 production of On the 20th Century, which garnered critical acclaim and further solidified her status as one of the greatest actresses of her generation. Madeline Kahn's career hit a bump in the road in 1973 when she was fired from the set of the film Mame due to artistic differences with the film star Lucille Ball. However, this setback turned out to be a blessing in disguise as it led to Khan's breakout role in the 1974 hit movie, Blazing Saddles. This marked the first collaboration between Madeline Kahn and director Mel Brooks, who would become one of her frequent collaborators. The film was a resounding success, grossing almost $120 million at the box office on a budget of only $2.6 million. Gene Wilder starred in the movie, which was another financial success. She also had an appearance in 1975's The Adventure of Sherlock Holmes' Smarter Brother, starring Gene Wilder. High Anxiety, directed by Mel Brooks, was Khan's third movie. In the parody of Hollywood suspense movies, Brooks also played the starring role. While less successful than Khan's prior projects with Brooks, the movie nonetheless brought in over $30 million at the box office. Khan continued her work in comedy spoofs and was part of the cast for The Cheap Detective in 1978, which was directed by Neil Simon. She also made a cameo appearance in The Muppet Movie in 1979. The same year, she was a voice actor in the animated film An American Tale. In 1981, Khan teamed up with Mel Brooks again for The History of the World Part 1. 
the film received mixed reviews and its box office returns were less than expected. She appeared as the romantic interest of Burt Reynolds in City Heat in 1984. In 1989, Khan returned to Broadway and received critical acclaim for her performance in Born Yesterday. She went on to land another big hit on Broadway in 1993, starring in The Sisters Rosenzweig. Khan also played a recurring character in the 1990s sitcom Cosby. Khan continued to work in animation and provided her voice for the character of Gypsy in Pixar's A Bug's Life in 1998. Madeline Khan, a talented actress, was recognized for her superb acting skills with two Academy Award nominations for Best Supporting Actress. In 1974, she was nominated for her role in the film Paper Moon and the following year for her work in Blazing Saddles. However, Khan lost the award to her 10-year-old co-star, Tatum O'Neill, in 1974. Despite not winning any major awards for her film work, both of her performances earned Golden Globe nominations, and she also received Golden Globe nominations for her roles in Young Frankenstein, What's Up, Doc?, and the 1984 television sitcom, Oh, Madeline. Khan's stage performances were also well-received, and in 1974, she was nominated for a Tony Award for her role in In the Boom Boom Room. In 1987, Khan received a Daytime Emmy Award for outstanding performance in a children's program, demonstrating her versatility as an actress. Throughout her career, Khan showcased her remarkable talent in various mediums, but it was unfortunate that she was not recognized more often for her film work. Sadly, Madeline Kahn was diagnosed with ovarian cancer in 1998. Despite the diagnosis, she continued to work on the sitcom Cosby and even got married to John Hansbury in the summer of 1999. However, the disease rapidly spread and she passed away on December 3, 1999 at the young age of 57. Kahn's death was a great loss to the entertainment industry but her legacy continues to live on through her memorable performances and contributions to the arts. Goodbye, and rest in peace, Madeline Kahn.